Well, let's have a look at applying an image. And we're using um, Affinity Photo on Windows this time. Now, what I want to do is show you how to use apply an image to get yourself an image that's exactly the right size in the place you want it, either full screen, which I'll do first, or into a shape. Well, a rectangle anyway. It doesn't handle shapes too well, but rectangles it certainly does. So have we got a layer? No, we don't have any layers yet. We've got that base image just there. But to apply an image into there, you can't load it or place it or anything like that. We need to have, we need to have a layer. So there's our layer. And that layer needs to have white will do. It needs to have something on that layer. Now we'll do a flood fill. And there it's filled with white. You can't really tell the difference. How this works for transparent backgrounds, I haven't yet discovered. But I've tried transparent, back back transparent backgrounds, double tongue tied here, and it doesn't work. So, I've got some images in the image directory, and we've got a document there that's your standard... Um, 1920 by 1080 pixel size. That's that's your standard video size. Okay, let's put an image in there. It's under filters and it's apply an image. Load the image from the source file. You'll notice I'm not going to change anything else just yet. There's an image there from Unsplash by Dmitry Batushny, I guess. But that's close enough. And there it is. Fills the full frame. Now you've got to apply it. If you don't apply it, it won't stick. There's the image. Full frame. And it's on. You can't see the slightly white background. But that's okay. You can turn it off and turn it on. That's filled the screen exactly. Filled the, the form you have there exactly. How many times have you had to import a photograph and it's and it's splattered all over the screen and you spend ages trying to resize it and get it to fit and put masks over it? Use apply image. Okay, let me show you that again. Let's put another layer on there. We'll turn that one off. Now we've got a pixel layer here. Same as before. But this time I'm not going to use full screen and I'm not going to color it with anything just yet. Because what I want to do is put a rectangle in there. And I want to put the rectangle down here. Whoops. Now that rectangle, believe it or not, is white. Because that's the color fill background. If you're unsure, just go over there. Over there. And there's your rectangle. Now, back to filters. Apply an image, load from current file, and let's try this one this time. Apply the image, and there it is down there. You can actually resize that slightly because it's not exactly a square. That was, and of course you can move that around any way you like. I think that's very cool. But remember, it has to be on a layer. And the layer has to be colored, or at least the rectangular shape you put it in has to be colored. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't work with any of the other shapes. It just comes out as a rectangle or square again, but that's all right. Let me show you the... Okay, before I do that, let me show you the rounded rectangle tool. We'll put that in there. There's a nice round rectangle. Filter. Apply the image. Load image from the source. And we'll go to the top one again. No, go to that one. That's the guy looking through the shop window. And you can see it puts it into the rectangle, but not the rounded edge rectangle. You'll have to deal with that yourself. But there they are. One there, one there, turn that one off, that's just a blank layer, we can turn that one off, we can turn that one off.
two different layers, you see? That one down there, that's the main one. What have we got up here? That's that one there, and we can move that around. You see? That's the base layer, another layer, and another layer. The idea I'm trying to impart here is that I'm glad I found this because, boy, am I fed, fed up to the teeth of having to resize images when I want to put them into a shape, a rectangular shape. Now, if you want them in any other shape, of course, then you have to mask, you have to create a shape that you can mask them in. Let's put this, let's do that just to prove a point. New layer, there's the layer. Let's see if I can. Make a rectangular shape. There it is there. There's the rectangular shape. Okay, so this is not working the way it works on the iPad. Let's forget that, shall we? Getting too carried away there. We've got that there. That's there. Let's move that around wherever you like. I've been through, that's the rounded rectangle layer. Now, how do I get that? I'll take that off. Take that off. Take that off. Turn that off. We only want one of these on. That one there. Now you can see that's sitting in there, but what I want is to get the wrong way around. And there it is. So you're not, you're no longer trying to squeeze your image into something you've created. So create the shape, slide the image into it because you can see it's there, it's grouped. Turn it off, turn it on. How wonderful is that? How to use Affinity Photos, apply image to create a shape or a full size image, whatever size you want, and have your image fit into it without a whole lot of squeezing and pushing and dragging of handles. It just sits in there. You'll notice when you, when you go to apply an image, so if we go back to that one there, Let's turn those off so they're out of the way for the moment. We'll give it a background that it can apply to. And, and believe it or not, that's just filled that. Just go up there out of the way. Go to filters. Apply image. Load from source. And there we go. Load from source. Open. Now you can see scale horizontally to fit scale vertically the fit you can use equations you can change colors you can blend mode you can even change the opacity what happens if i tick those off massive picture how many times have you had that you drag it in and you think ah it's too big but you apply the image and there it is in exact proportions how nice is that Okay, that's all we need for this one.